Hello, insomniacs, fellow night owls. Or maybe you're an overnight driver. Maybe security somewhere. Or at the plant. Anyone pulling the graveyard. Welcome to the night shift. Once again, thanks for tuning in. If you have a story to share, please post it in the comment section below the video. These are experiences posters wrote about on a Reddit thread. Let's get started. Number one, Grim Reaper. I used to work a night shift as a care aide in an old folks home. It was already creepy. The home was an old hospital that had been converted and some asshole kept walking around the courtyard after dark, dressed as the Grim Reaper, knocking on doors. It was actually really scary. He ran off, and the facility got a security guard for a few weeks. <laughs> that was submitted by the Gambler RX. Next up, Kangaroos. Many years ago, I worked at a regional radio station in the middle of fucking nowhere, Australia. I was the overnight operator, keep the overnight playlist running, set up for the morning, do all the manual checks for the next day, and then jump on the desk if anything funky happens. I spent a lot of time sitting in what was essentially a tin shed in the middle of a paddock with my dog, shoes off, listening to 50s and 60s music and doing crossword puzzles. Except one night when the Roo Shooters came through. They spooked the kangaroos in the paddock, and one of them jumped headfirst through our office window. So there's me, barefoot and half asleep, and then this six-foot-tall kangaroo smashes through the glass window. Blood and glass everywhere. My dog starts chasing the kangaroo. I start chasing my dog. And the kangaroo bounds around the office, knocking shit off desks in the dark, bleeding everywhere. I ran opened the studio bay doors, and my dog chased it outside where I'm assuming the poor thing was shot. And then I had to call my boss. That was submitted by Formal Mango. <laughs> Next up is, do you know where the morgue is? I was an orderly in a hospital. Two of us were sitting in the basement office adjacent to the morgue. A guy passed our office looking at us a little shifty, came back again, and asked if we had access to the morgue. We said yes, thinking he was doing a pickup for a funeral home, but that seemed strange given it, it was around midnight, 1230. Nope. He wanted to pay us to let him in and alone with the bodies for an hour or so. We escorted him up to security. Apparently, he had tried it in the past as the security guards knew him. It was submitted by Odd underscore 42. Next up, lots of crazy people. I was running the register at a 24-hour supermarket. A stock person comes running into the produce, carrying a mop handle, screaming, You motherfucker! And out of sight, he keeps yelling, fucker, and smacking a handle at something for like five minutes. I'm ringing up customers and freaking out because he's losing his damn mind, but I'm not interested in getting involved in a murder, so I ignore it. Later, I find out he was chasing a rat. That was submitted by Conniption Fit. And next up, the world is creepy at 3 a.m. Many years ago, I briefly had a job that started at 3.30 a.m. The job itself was very boring, but the commute was wild. The world is at its weirdest in the very early morning. Road hazards haven't been called in yet. So one day, I pulled off the freeway and discovered that off the ramp was completely flooded, deep enough that I have no idea how my car didn't stall. But the most interesting discovery was that if law enforcement has to raid a home, they do it around 3 or 4 in the morning because that's the best chance of everyone being peacefully asleep. And one day I was nearly to work when I noticed something off ahead of me. 
I slowed down and came up to a massive police blockade, squad cars everywhere, and absolutely crawling with heavily armed officers, but all in absolute silence. They silently waved me down a side street, just a creepy, unsettling experience, and that was submitted by Queer Tree. Next up, morgue trips. Did hospital security for about two months. It was a small hospital out in the sticks, so we were responsible for removing patients who had passed from their rooms and transferring them into the morgue's freezer. We had just brought a decedent to the morgue, and right before we were about to transfer them to the freezer, their cell phone rang. Granted, pretty tame compared to some stories, but at the time, it gave us a decent fright. That was submitted by Murphy's (laughs) cousin-in-law. Next up, and I think I'm going to end it here on this one, is Night Terrors. And it starts off, I worked in a residential treatment center for teen girls. One girl with some severe trauma, rape, and abuse came sleepwalking into the room, screaming to please untie her while clawing at her wrists. She was begging me to help her because he's torturing me. I sat her down and pulled her bracelets and watch off. She went completely limp, then got up and went back to bed. It freaked me out seeing the raw emotion of her trauma since she was always smiling and relatively calm during the day. Another time I was doing my nightly checks and a guy suddenly walked out from behind the door coming at me. I screamed and threw my flashlight at him and it was just a smiley face balloon. And that was submitted by Bucket 311 As always, thanks for listening. Have a good night at work.